What's going on everyone, a draft nerd here. If you're new to the channel, I make NBA draft slash college basketball content. So if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you cannot tell by the thumbnail the title of this video, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Arizona Bearcats. They just won the Maui Invitational. They beat Creighton in a very close game. They won 81-79. And I kind of don't really want to break down the game, but I really just want to give Arizona their prop. So in this game against Creighton, who's just a well, well-coached team, they were able to pull out a victory now. They were able to kind of see how they can play in all facets of the game. And what it, by that, I mean, I, there was parts where uh, Creighton had the momentum and Arizona was able to stand you know, their ground and continue to just play their game. They didn't get rattled or anything like that. Of course, it is college basketball at the end of the day. So you're gonna have your ups and downs. But one thing Arizona did was that when Creighton went on their runs, they did not change the way they play ball. They continued to do what they do. And then Umar Balo, he is a stud. I didn't know he transferred from Gonzaga. I knew he was a transfer, but I didn't know he came from Gonzaga. And he just had an amazing game. From the first minute of the first half, he was just dominant throughout the game. So the fact that Umar Balo had such a great game against Creighton is huge because they had that one uh, seven footer, what is his name, like Calgbrin or something like that. Um, he showed that he's not actually that tough, and it showed that Creighton as a team doesn't necessarily have the bigs to go with teams with dominant bigs. Once they're past Calgbrin, or I could be pronouncing his name wrong, once they're past him, they don't really have anybody to come in. I think Frederick King uh, came in for a couple of minutes, but I mean, he's a freshman, so it's not like there's really much he can do. So Creighton, their downfall, I can already tell, is just being able to just fight in the post. I'm not saying they're not going to be able to do that at all. I'm not saying they're not going to be able to, to improve on that later. I, all I am saying is that that is something that I can see hindering them in the future. Now, another thing that's going to hinder them in the future is Arthur Kaluma did not play well this game. He he did, like, on the defensive end, he held his own. I mean, he did a great job of just preventing a lot of perimeter shooting from Arizona, even though Arizona was hitting some threes. I th but I think they only hit, like, five, which isn't much. But if you watch the game, it, for some reason, just felt like they were hitting more. But he did his thing on the defensive end. However, he was just not able to get past anybody on offense. He doesn't have the burst that you would want him to have for a guy who is so reliant on his athleticism. I mean, it is what it is at that point because, like I said, that it really hindered Creighton. Creighton wasn't able to do a lot of the things that they normally do because literally one of your star players was just, you know, invisible on the offensive end. I think he only ended up with, yeah, he only ended up with six points. So you got to do better than that. But like I said, we're not here to talk about Creighton. We're just here to talk about Arizona. And I think Arizona is just going to be a team to watch going forward. I mean, they beat, who was it? It was Cincinnati. Uh, that, was, that was a good game against Cincinnati. Then they blew out San Diego State and then they had this close game with Creighton. For Arizona to be ranked 14th, I think Creighton was ranked 10th. Arizona I, is, should be a lot higher than 14th. Of course, they're going to go higher than 14th you know, in the next poll. But the way they play basketball, the way they're able to dominate you on the inside, and they also are able to shoot. They have a lot of poised guards on their team. Uh, Kerr, what, Creesa? He's, he's a really good uh, facilitator for that team. I think he does a good job where he, one thing I like about him is he doesn't have to score in order for that team to do well. He does a good job of just navigating traffic and getting the ball where it needs to be. And in this case, it was with Umar Bilo. So I think this team is just gonna be a very talented team and a team to watch out for because not only do they have very skilled players, but I feel as though they just play very well. They play very well together. They coach very well. They play with poise. And that's something that's gonna be huge going on into the future now that it was really huge in this tournament like i said creighton tried to come back creighton kind of beat themselves at the end but arizona didn't let them like you know what i mean arizona didn't let creighton come back we're not gonna act like creighton is just not good Arizona did what they did. You know, they did what they had to do in order to secure this game. And if you're an Arizona fan, you really couldn't be happier because the way they played this game, the way they were just able to play on defense, the way they were able to just get their shots, their bench. Uh, Henderson was just able to provide valuable minutes throughout the tournament off the bench. Um, and he doesn't have to score all the time either. Like his, his value off the bench isn't necessarily scoring. His value off the bench is just being able to turn the game around or keep the lead or anything 
anything like that. And he's able to do that when he came off the bench. He was able to do it in this game as well. I think he had, but he had, what, 27 minutes? It was a lot of minutes. Yeah, he had 27 minutes and he only had seven points. But I promise you, when you watch the game, he Henderson was a lot better than just oh, I'm going to score. He was doing just all kinds of things around the court. So that's the sign of a good team is that now if you're if the main things for you aren't hitting, if the main players for you aren't going, you know, going off or the main players for you aren't changing the game or impacting the game you want to, do you have guys that can step up? And in some cases, hey, they, like they might just not play well in the first half. And in the second half, those guys off the bench or those just role player guys, they're able to play their game and keep you in the game. And that's kind of, I mean, I wouldn't even say that's what we saw here. Arizona at the beginning just, just seemed like the better team. They just seemed more poised. They seemed more ready for the challenge so i'm very excited to watch arizona going forward i am not an arizona fan i feel like i'd say i'm not a fan of whatever team i'm talking about in the video because i don't watch all of these teams i try to watch as much college basketball as i can while building a draft board while watching my favorite nba team it's a lot of stuff world cups going on so Forgive me if I'm just not completely tuned in, but I'm trying my best to just be in tune in as many people. There's a lot of basketball to watch, so I'm trying to watch it all. But I just, as I've watched every Arizona game in this tournament, and I just wanted to say how just pleasantly surprised I am with how they play ball. So they're doing a good thing in Arizona. I forgot their coach's name, but for him to, you know, all of a sudden become the coach last year because their last coach, Scott Miller, I believe, was fired or whatever because of the allegations uh, for what, I guess it's not tampering college basketball but what you get the point um for him to have that team last year to lose benedict matherin to lose uh christian coloco to lose who else was on that team i can't remember off the top of my head who else there's a third guy who went to the nba on that team that i cannot think of right now but to lose those three guys and to still just have such a dominant team just a team that seems like they've been playing together you know for years is just a great thing. So Arizona, y'all have a great season to look forward to. I look forward to getting more into, you know, Arizona basketball and watching the things you do because like I said, pleasantly surprised. And I think Arizona's gonna be a tough team to beat. So watch out for Arizona. Anyway, that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.